Well now that we've got our read-only domain controller, or RODC, in place, now we need to set up our password replication policy so we can cache some passwords on that RODC. I want to start by taking a look at our current list of allowed groups and users. Now this is the allowed RODC password replication group, and this is the default group that's created when you set up your RODC. It's a starting point, but not a huge one. Well, let's take a look at our denied group this time. Now these are all the users and groups that are denied access, but we can't see them all. So let's just uh, thin that out and take a look at the name and object class. There we go, that's a little more human readable. So you can see we have our denied RODC password replication group, along with account operators, server operators, and of course administrators. Now these are groups that we don't want to have their passwords cached in case that RODC goes missing. Now, if you have multiple read-only domain controllers in your domain, and you want to check who is allowed to have their passwords cached across all of them, we can just do a quick get ad domain controller, filter on the is read-only attribute, and get the full list. Now, in this case, we only have the one group because we only have the one read-only domain controller. Well, that's definitely something useful if you have a larger domain. Now, let's take a look at our group membership for the allowed RODC password replication group. And you can see it's empty, which is why I said this is not a great start. You actually, at this point, have no one that can have their passwords cached. And if we check our denied RDC password replication group, we have quite a number of groups and a single user. Obviously your domain admins, enterprise admins, these are definitely accounts you do not want to have their passwords exposed in the event the RDC is compromised. Well, now that we've taken a look at the current settings, Let's add a couple of groups, our manufacturing and finance groups, and we'll add our user Cecil Oritz. So this way we have a few users that will be able to have their passwords cached on prod-rodc. There we go. Let's just uh, check that allowed group again. And there we go. Finance, manufacturing, Cecil Oritz, and of course our default allowed RODC password replication group. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for our denied list. We're going to add human resources to that group because we don't want their accounts uh, compromised. And there you go. We've added human resources successfully to the denied list. Now, let's say we've decided to remove finance. Well, it's not a big deal. We'll just use the remove AD domain controller password replication policy from prod or ODC and the allowed list finance. So we're going to take finance out of that list. We'll click yes to confirm that we want to do that. And we'll just verify quickly that we've been successful. And as you can see, finance is gone, and we still have manufacturing, Cecil Oritz, and our curiously long group name. Now, let's take a look at the counts that have already authenticated to prod RODC. So we're going to use the get ad domain controller password replication policy usage and check for authenticated accounts. That gives us a list of a single user, TechSnips and several computer accounts that have already authenticated against this RODC. Next, let's take a look at our get ad domain controller password replication policy usage for the revealed accounts. Wow, these are some seriously long commandlet names. And there's our current list with prod RODC and our Kerberos ticket granting ticket account for the read-only domain controller. Now one thing we can do here is we can take these two lists and compare them to find out if there's any authenticated users whose passwords aren't being cached. It's relatively easy to do. We'll take our two previous commandlets with the authenticated accounts and our revealed accounts and put them through compare object. And there you go. We can see we have our TechSnips user and several computer accounts. Now in this case we might want our TechSnips user to have their the password cached and that would just be a quick matter of adding that to the allowed list. And finally, we may want to pre-cache our password. So in this case, say for Cecil Oritz, we know he's going to be out at that site soon. And we want to make sure that in the event that the WAN link is down, he can still authenticate to the RODC. So we'll just use our get ad user, pass that into sync ad object. And the important thing to note is the password only parameter there. That will make sure that his password is synced. And we'll just do a quick check again on our revealed accounts. 
and verify that it was successful. And there we go. We now have Cecil Oritz added to the revealed list, so his password is now pre-cached. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.